Okay, I have a few rental properties that I need to bring up to code. Um, state, Texas, County of Harris, and the City of Houston. You know, all different rules for a rental property. Uh, I need to come into compliance. The first thing is, you can't have double-sided deadbolts, where there's a deadbolt on both sides of the door. So this burglar bar, I had to install this thumb lock. Um, now it is in compliance, now it's okay, mainly it's a visual deterrent. Most burglars won't be able to see behind here, to see that this is here. But now I don't have to remove it like I had to previously. Um, the video here is about drilling a hole in a metal door for a door viewer. This is a door viewer we will be installing. And uh, the problem I had is all the instructions online, even for the metal doors, told you to use a metal drill to drill a hole in it. But when I did that, it would tear the thin sheet metal of the door and the hole would uh, be a lot bigger and it wouldn't be round than what was required, which is 9 sixteenths. So there are a few things you need. The first is some silicone, um, whatever. And if you'll see on here, this is the outside part here. There's a little channel around here that you can put silicone in. So when you stick it in, I guess it helps secure it as well as keeps the water out. You'll also need a measuring tape and a pencil or a mechanical pencil or a marker or whatever the hell you want to use to uh, precisely mark out the location of where you want the hole to be. People suggest that it be, you know, viewable by all people in the house, whatever. Um, the most important thing is <clears throat> you need a drill and this here. This is a bi-metal hole saw. There's two components to it. This is a, um, what I bought was a Morse they didn't sell it at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. 9 sixteenths is a weird size. <clears throat> it's a Morse Master Cobalt 9 16 made in America. Bimetal hole saw. You'll also need an arbor. I believe this model is the M24K, whatever. It basically has this drill bit in it that drills in first, guides it, and this cuts the hole. You can remove this and put a different size one on. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> this would be my third door. I've tried making videos on each door and for whatever reason I've screwed up the other two doors. So this is the third door. Let's hope I get it right. I just didn't include everything I should have included in it. If you want to go slow, I don't know if I'll go slow, but you should start slow. So that starts it. You don't want to put much pressure on it. Keep the pressure light. And bingo. So now, you have a hole. It's a very, very nice hole. Before, there's the, the metal bit this would tear and rip and that's not that's not good so what you're going to want to do next is make sure you're uh, you're straight whatever go straight through the door and you'll feel the other side and you'll drill Thank you.
until it pops through. The guide bit pops through. And now on the other side, you'll have this. And it's the same deal. You do it on the outside. Very nice 9 16 hole to install your door side on. It's pretty dang easy. And I think I've now mentioned everything I wanted to mention. So soon we will be in further compliance with the um, with, uh, rental property code. The next thing I'll figure have to figure out is how to... Uh, change these burglar bars so that they can remove in case of a fire. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. Thank you.